hi everyone and welcome to another video about Serious Now stuff and today I'm sitting at my laptop trying to use Skype as recording so let's see how that goes today's video is going to be about reporting and it's actually a, a question I got from a, a fellow Serious Now developer and I thought I might as well record it and perhaps someone else would have reuse for it as well so what we're looking at is for a report that will show the recount reassignment count of the tickets of each member of the service desk group so first let's go to the reports create a new and of course, before you ever create reports, check if there is an out-of-the-box one that fills your needs or almost fills your needs. Then you can take that one and just trim it for your needs and you don't have to start from scratch. So in this one, we're going to do some basic, let's call it incident reassign. So we're going to hit the incident table and I guess we're going to like it to have it as a bar chart. So let's keep on that one. Now, as you can see for the first, we need to select, okay, what do you want to group by? In this case, reassignment count. And let's run it. And now we can see that we have 64, which hasn't been reassigned, 29 at one time have been reassigned, and so on. And we even have 3, which doesn't have any reassignment value at all. That's kind of nice. Should be 3 as a number instead. Yeah, anyway, now we'd like to see, of course, okay, who does these tickets belong to? So let's stack them by, and normally you would like to stack them by created by. But created by is of course not a reference field or something like that, so it doesn't work to stack by that one. It only shows the username as you might already know. What's good to know is that you have open by instead. So if we hit open by, and hit run, from here we can see that with reassignment 2, David Liu has 3 of those tickets, Don Goodleaf has 3, Guest has 1, IT user 2, Joe employee 2, and so on. <coughs> what we might be better in this case is have the group by. So let's hit that one instead. Now you get a bar for each one, so it's a lot easier to see what people have been doing. Now for this is pretty much it for the one that I was solving about, but as you might notice, this one takes all incidents. It doesn't really matter who created it, it just checks on all ones. So if it isn't, haven't been like incidents are only creating in the help desk, and you like to filter this report to be only for that group. What you can do then is, of course, if you go there, and then here and say open by in this case you would like to have open by is just people that are members of the, the service desk group sadly there isn't really an option like that but what you can do is create something called dynamic filters and i have done it already just to spare you some time in coding so what i have done is this hit dynamic and dynamic filters are like, if you remember, you have assigned to, you can select is one of my groups, for example, or assignment group is one of my groups, just to show you, assignment group, and you can have a dynamic filter that is one of my groups. So depending on who's logged in, it will actually fetch different groups. So in this case, I have gone into dynamic filter options. And from here, I created something get group. Oh, what did I name it? Let's do like this. 
created. Let's hope I saved it. Get service disk personal. I made a dummy filter, so whenever you have <coughs> that one in the condition wheel, you can reuse this one. And let's click on that filter. So what I actually did was I put a label on it. I created a, a scripting Kulu that I'm calling that we will look into. I said that this one should be used on reference fields that are pointing to the user table. And I also selected that this dynamic filter can only be available when you're using the condition builder. Not in the drop downs for default value, reference qualifier and so on. Now, you can of course specify who is allowed to see it and so on. But in this case, we're just going to use it like that. And let's go and take a quick look in the script include. Let's take that one just for fun. And I just have uh, something I call Acme Useful Utils script include. I just put stuff into. And this one I haven't updated. So let's remove that one from the start. But try always to have documentation at least. And I will update this one so it will say the right things, of course. But normally we just have a function which takes a sysid. Then it goes into the sysuse group memberships table says okay fetch me all the, the records that has the group with the same sysid that I sent into this function and then I loop through these records and I fetch the user field and get the sysids from that one so basically this is returning an array with sysids of all the users in that group that I'm sending in so if you look at the the dynamic filter you can see that i'm calling the script include and this function and then i'm actually pasting in the sysid of the service desk group now if i go back to my report i can choose open by is dynamically get service desk personal as you can see here you have a lot of different people but if you run it again reassignment count and we only have tickets by david lu or idle users so this is how you can see which are the records that have been created by only the services personnel as well Just thinking through, I think that's about it. So I'm going to close this call and put it on YouTube, and hopefully, it will help some others both with dynamic filters, of course, and how to make an easy reassignment count to see who has been assigning the tickets wrong. All right, of course, let me see if I can find how I turn off this. Say stop presenting and where do I stop recording? Stop recording. Okay, bye bye.